The suburban mother has now begun to waddle as her pregnancy has increased, resembling a duck or a more close resemblance, a walrus. <laughs> she also bellows and snorts like one. <laughs> wow, that girl has huge tits. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Caught. I just was. Did you say your voice? You caught sounded, in four K. You caught. sounded like you. You were like, "Wow, that's don't abnormally like my large. small titties." I don't dislike them. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm six months pregnant, and today I'm gonna try on my husband's jeans and see if they fit me. No, no. You have already stretched out most of my tank tops and my shirts, and your belly has gotten large. Your belly has stretched out your clothes, not mine. I mean, you're stretched out everywhere. I know. Right? Every. <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to the most about having a boy? You know, like what it what excites you the most? What, what, what I think you... like giving birth to like the man of the house. Like just giving birth to some like masculinity and cause like we really need it, you know? It's just overrun with so many females and all the feminine vibes. So like, I think he's gonna like come out the womb. Like the man of the house is here guys, don't worry. I think I missed a few chapters of this book here. What, what, what have I been? I've been the man of the house dominantly. That's not funny. Your voice just cracked. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, honey. <laughs> if you're wondering how pregnancy's going. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> There's cheese on it. <laughs>